Welcome to Site44, Junior Researchers, and welcome to the SCP Foundation. We understand that you have just been through one of the most secretive selection processes in the world, if not the most secretive. We know you will have questions. Most of these questions have answers. Most of these answers, however, are beyond your security clearance. It is in your own best interest to learn to accept that response, as here, access to information without proper clearance is grounds for immediate determination. To begin the briefing, a word on the Foundation and our mission statement from our administrator themselves. The SCP Foundation is not a government or law enforcement organization. We operate not to enforce the laws of the nation, but the laws of reality itself. Our mission is threefold. We secure anomalies, contain them, and protect the general population from them, hence the three-letter acronym. Whilst we may not always be viewed as the most ethical anomalous organization, particularly when it comes to the topic of D-class personnel, rest assured that there are far, far worse hands that anomalies could fall into than that of the Foundation. Leading on from what the Administrator mentioned, the Foundation is not the only group aware of the anomalous. Other groups of interest, as the Foundation has termed them, utilize anomalous objects to achieve their own ends. Some of these groups have declared us enemies, some are trusted allies, and some fluctuate regularly between the two. As such, it is recommended that you keep yourself informed on these groups and their relationship with the Foundation. The major groups of interest will be explained to you in a future briefing. Next, object classes. Each SCP item in containment is assigned one of three main classes, Safe, Euclid, or Keta. Safe class SCPs can be contained relatively easily with little work on behalf of the Foundation. Euclid class SCPs are anomalies whose containment requires more resources and is not always as reliable. Finally, Keta class SCPs are extremely difficult to contain, requiring considerable resources and often causing frequent containment breaches. Please note that these classifications have no relation to an anomaly's danger or ability to cause harm. They are simply a measure of how difficult the anomaly is to contain. To use an old example, a nuclear warhead will be classified as safe. Security Clearances The backbone of any clandestine organisation The Foundation has six levels of security clearance, ranging from level zero, generally held by janitorial, maintenance or administrative staff, who have no need for access to sensitive information, to level five, normally held only by members of the O5 Council. As junior researchers, you will hold a level 2 security clearance. As you progress through your career, this may be upgraded as you are promoted through the ranks of the SCP Foundation. Mobile task forces are elite units made up of personnel drawn from the ranks of the Foundation. Each mobile task force is a specialised team, trained to deal with a certain type of anomaly or emergency situation. A detailed list of mobile task forces will be provided in a future briefing, and knowledge of this list may become useful if a containment breach occurs at your site. Finally, K-class scenarios, which represent some of the worst possible situations that the Foundation may need to deal with. These include XK-class end-of-the-world scenarios, CK-class restructuring scenarios, and SK-class dominance shift scenarios. Learning the definitions of these terms will be important for your work here, and will also hopefully motivate you to be diligent in your duties. We secure, we contain, we protect. We are the SCP Foundation.